How good is this lap for Ricky Stenhouse Jr.? Checkered flag is out. Stenhouse will go to number one easily at 194.582 miles an hour. And redemption for Ricky, who was flushed from Roush Fenway Racing at the end of last season in favor of Chris Busher. Ricky Stenhouse is our Daytona 500 pole sitter. Jones with the most damaged car in the race. He's in the front. Now, can Denny Hamlin... Dylan slipped up high. Is Denny Hamlin going to make a move on him and still try to win this race? Doesn't look like it. He's going to push his teammate to the win. Eric Jones is going to win the Bush Clash with a car that's ready for the dumpster. Not one I would have thought we'd won. It was an awesome race. I, I got to give a huge thanks to Denny there in the 11. He uh, he stuck with us there that whole last lap. And <clears throat> this thing was... Uh, wasn't the fastest car I don't think left in the race, but you know, we brought it home. So I, uh, I own one for that one for sure. 500's not over for the field. Oh, trouble back straight away. Brad Keselowski gets turned and the field is flying apart. About a dozen cars crash and collide over here on the back straightaway. Like a ticking time bomb. You knew it was going to happen. We just didn't know exactly when it would happen. White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott around. Spinning around, no still green. green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman, Newman. trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no. the inside, Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Scoring unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney. Here is the second closest finish in Daytona 500 history. Denny Hamlin, the winner in both of them. Two laps to go. Is this the final restart of the day? Green flag. Logano. Big push from Stenhouse. Byron. A little bit of help from Di Benedetto. Three wide. Di Benedetto goes inside of William Byron. Oh, tire rub. They made contact. Here they come for the white flag from Credit One Bank. Oh, tons of contact. Trouble. William Byron backing up through the field. There was contact among several drivers, and we are under caution. Race control has confirmed that since the leader saw the white flag under green, the next flag ends the race. That caution flag will do just that. And nobody does a burnout or donuts or whatever you call it, this like Joey Logano. What a cool tribute to one of the sport's all-time greats and great to salute him while the final year of this career is in progress. I think you're gonna see some big things out of Jimmy today. <laughs> Shani loves it and the girls up there on the flag stand. That's a view Jimmy Johnson would like to have on the 200th lap today. <laughs> yes. and, and just think about this. I mean, he's so excited about what's going on this week. And when they wave that green flag, it's gonna be hard for him not to be looking up the flag stand. Usually you see that green flag wave and it's all focus ahead and going up through the gears. But I think he's gonna wanna get a glimpse of those girls waving that green flag this time. In the grandstand, nobody's sitting down. All of Southern California here to salute their native son, seven-time NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson from El Cajon. Here comes Bowman. The white flag waves. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Kyle Busch, 9.7 back and closing as fast as he can. You know, this is one of those drivers. He doesn't have this long-term contract at Hendrick Motorsports. His future's a little bit unknown. This moment right here, if he can complete this, which it looks like he will, a huge moment for Alex Bowman's career and future and this season that he and Greg Ives and Hendrick Motorsports are starting to put together. Alex yeah. Bowman comes to the stripe to win the Auto Club 400. And here he is, career win number two for Tucson, Arizona's Alex Bowman. Four, one, oh, pounding, pounding the contact. wall is Truex. 19 Truex. That was not pretty. Well, and, and again, uh, Mike. Uh, behind. Yeah, Tempura. I saw it. Yeah, second time he's hit me going in the corner today.
don't know if he checked up early because the 48 was squeezing him or what, but he stopped a lot quicker than I could. A clown in the tank car. Harvick looks to the bottom. Logano up high. White flag. Next flag ends the race. And hey, we've already seen Kevin Harvick not afraid to put the bumper to somebody to move him. Will he do that if he gets to the 22 of Logano? Oh, he's trying. He was within a foot there between corners, three, one and two. One last chance at it as he dives into turn three. I think he's a little too far back. Joey got a great launch off turn two. He's got Harvick by two car lengths, and he's looking at the finish line. Second win of the season for Joey Logano. Winner. Hey, boys. Woo! Can't deny it today. Good job, man. Finally got a Phoenix win. Thank you. He scores his 25th career win. He had two victories last year, in all of last year, and now he has two in the first four races with new crew chief Paul Wolf.